Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your week, please. This is going to be for February 26th to March 3rd. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we going to look at today? We're going to look at your day today, your love and films, the box plays and challenges, and the overall comment. And if you guys look at this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so let's go ahead my Scorpio's Romantic Love Life. For February 26th to March 3rd, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so this is going to be for February 26th, February 27th, February 28th, February 29th, March 1st, March 2nd, March 3rd. This is going to be for your love interest feelings. This is going to be for the blockage, delay, and challenge. This is going to be for the overall outcome. So if the day-to-day -day is confusing at all, Scorpio, just stick with me to the end. I'm going to go over your love interest feelings, box and challenges, and the overall outcome. It's going to be very clear cut. So again, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so you're starting out the situation with a lot of worries and concerns about something here with the Knight of Swords energy. Let's see what that's about. Okay, so the block shades and challenges this week is something about the situation doesn't exactly make you feel happy or you're not sure if you can trust in this sense of happiness. So let's see what that's about, Scorpio. All right, so there is an offer coming in. Could be a new one. Potential, potential passionate offer here. 26th of February. Now, this could be renewed potential passionate offer as well for some of you guys, okay? So, something passionate here coming in, okay? All right, so we'll see what that's about. I'm not surprised. I always tell you guys you're the sexy sign. Okay, so what's going to have my Scorpio's Rancid Glove Life February 26th to March 3rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, yeah. This person's like looking to be with you, okay? Because we got the person's like, okay, there's an opportunity offer and someone's like, Scorpio, I want to be with you. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. All right, what's going on my Scorpio's romantic love life? February 26th to March 3rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, so what do we got here? Yep, look at that. Two main people cards coming out. All right. Let's keep going. What's going on by Scorpio's Romantic Love Life February 26th to March 3rd? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. This opportunity offers coming in possibly because something's been growing between you and the person, or this also could be because somebody wants to heal a connection. Okay, so let's keep going. What's going to happen my Scorpios? Romantic Love Life. February 26th to March 3rd. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Okay, so there's an air of mystery, secrets, unknowns. Okay. Going on here. Okay, so let's keep going. One more layer here, Scorpio. What the heck is that secret about? What's going to happen my Scorpios? Romantic Love Life. February 26th. March 3rd. Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, so we got this secret situation. All right. Somebody that could have uh, ghosted you was far away, some kind of rejection. This now there's an offer coming in. Wow. Wheel of Fortune shows me blessings here, guys. Things are going to turn in your favor. There is an angel watching out for you or a, a higher power here. Okay. A Jupiter energy is coming in, so there's a there's a blessing here. Lucky situation. That's Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so going further. You're about to be really happy, joyful. Sun card energy. About uh, this, this could be a court situation, judgment situation. Something's going to go in your favor. Okay. This is spiritual in nature. Cross card. Um, okay, let's keep going. Lucky again. Oh my God, Scorpio. Note that day down, the 27th. Okay. Something has been hidden from you. Someone has been concealing something. 
Huh. So you're getting a blessing about a situation that has been hidden, someone who has been telling you everything. It looks like something's going to happen, something's going to go in your favor. You wouldn't know about this, though. Okay, um, wow. It looks like on the 28th, there's a person who's like, I want to defend my position. I have the higher ground. So it looks like there's people coming out the connection. And it's like, I want to defend my position. I don't care what the heck you think of the Scorpio with the situation, but this is, this is the person I want to be with. Okay. And there's concerns about this loss of losing you because of this travel situation. Also could be a loss of travel, all right? So this person could have been far away. And now there's a, there's a movement, a change here, wanting to take away the distance. Yeah, power moves being made here with the bear card energy. And we see that there's the cat card, something about this sly slick energy to bring things into harmony. Huh. So there was this disappearing, this rejection of these lying and deceptions of this person who was trying to snake charm you or trying to bring things into harmony. Hmm. So you are deciding on this day of the 29th to spend some time alone, Nine of Pentacles energy, or you may find out that someone's single and available to pursue with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Let's see what this is about. All right, some kind of good advice, or this could also be involving uh, a, a father, an uncle, all right, or someone who's trying to give some kind of good advice, an infringing party of some sort. Let's see what this is about. Uh, we see single and available to pursue, okay. We see a love connection and some communication happening. Letter, message, document, communication. Oh, this seems like very interesting. You may hear from a family member talking about the fact that this person is in love with you and that they're single and available to pursue, that they've been hiding some things because of their situation. What the heck? Okay. And there, there's a lot of regrets about it, and they're feeling bad and guilty about the situation. What the heck? Scorpio, your readings, uh, oh, yeah, they're always very, very interesting. I mean, in a good way. I mean, they're, they're, for a reader, you know, you read a lot of science, so it's a very interesting reading. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. So you're going to end a tough cycle here by the 1st of March. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, next to our deck here. There's someone who is heavily thinking about you. There's a cautiousness, defensiveness here about the situation. You see, someone sees you as their main person. There is a, a romantic gestures being taken here. And they're trying to get the courage, strength, or confidence to rebuild your confidence, could be, or um, you're trying to rebuild your confidence. There's, there seems to be this sense of Someone who rejected you, silenced, or there was concerns about rejections, they didn't tell you something. They were just trying to sweet talk you, but then it uh, looks like you're going to find something out here on the 29th about these regrets, about this real situation here. And uh, this, this person's thinking about you, and uh, there's an ending of a tough cycle because of this courage, strength, or confidence here. Okay, so Three of Pentacles could show some of you guys have more than one choice or option on the 2nd of March, or there was something that was built here. I just get the sense from this card, the way the Three of Pentacles is put, it's like, it's like this person's like kind of defeated and they kind of don't know if they want to deal with this situation. That's what I feel like from that Three of Pentacles there. It's like in the background, yes, there's something that's been built, there's a collaboration here, wanting to work together, but it's like, do I want, do I want to deal with it right now? Yeah, there's a cautiousness about it about the situation. Definitely someone wants your attention. Someone really wants your attention. Okay, let's also go with the Lenormand here. There's some indecisions, a choice you have to make by the 2nd of March because of these concerns about disappointments. And you're like, should I take a risk? Should I take a leap of faith? Should I take a gamble here? Okay. So let's keep going here. So far, what do we see? Rejection, silence, ignoring a situation. Someone hasn't been telling the truth. Seems like there's some snake charming going on, finding out something that causes some regrets, trying to find the liquid courage here to take a risk, leap of faith. 
on the situation. Okay, let's keep going. Fertility, pregnancy, motherly energy, starting a family. Okay, wow. Could be a mother involved with the situation on the 3rd of March. Uh, just, or you guys, when I see the Empress also can sh 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 talk about your understanding your value and your worth, right? Um, that also could be the case too. Yeah, someone wants to reunite with you. And uh, they're feeling bad about the situation. And uh, there is a lot of jealousy, um, okay, or concerns about lack of flexibility here. This person wants to be your main person, and they, uh, they want to be patient and surrender to the situation. Okay, so let's bring it together. So there was a distant energy, someone who may have not been communicating. They may, they may have been lying here too, okay, uh, and some snake charming going on. But now it looks like you're going to find out about some stuff here by the 29th. Uh, so now you're going to have to decide, do you want to move forward with this situation considering you've, what you found out? This person's like, I want to reunite, I want to fix the situation, let's get back together, those kinds of things, okay? All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so something secret here lucky time a lucky situation blessing so it seems to me there was something going on that you didn't know about but then the blessing happened from the universe and was like no 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 we're gonna we're gonna show you this what's what, we're gonna show you what's going on with this person about this sly slick energy here and you get communication you find out there is this romance and concerns there's some disappointments about this mean person so you're disappointed about what you find out and leaves you at a crossroads too okay so going further Healing situation, spiritual, power move being made, love, main person at a crossroads because of this lack of flexibility, jealousy, or this temptation, okay? All right, keep going. All right, main person. There's something about this court situation, judgment, something going in your favor. We see something about travel. So it's like you get justice here for something that was a deceptive about some type of travel thing um, and we see that someone's concerned about that wants to help you right and um, going further here let's make sure we have all the cards in the right spot here all right okay so we got the kippers on top all right okay kippers on top there okay so main person, something goes in your favor. We see something about travel. We see uncle, we see a father, we see a, uh, an older masculine or someone who gives good advice about these restrictions and boundaries, bring some attention to a situation which causes regrets. Okay, so you're about to find out something. Okay, you're about to find some stuff out. Okay. This person who wants to be with you, there's a joyful, happy energy and concerns about loss. Someone feels like, okay, I'm being used. And we see there's thoughts and plans here and a cautiousness about this reunion. Okay. All right, so there's an offer opportunity presented. There's a blessing coming in. Someone defends their position when it comes to financial independence, single and available to pursue, this isolation or separation, and a t top cycle ends. There's a working together, building something, um, more than one person involved in the situation, and we see Empress talks about you're very attractive, okay, something growing, uh, abundance of love here, Empress card energy. So don't worry, we're going to bring it all together, but we see there's an opportunity. Okay, it looks like more than one person involved the situation. Someone's going to give you some information here about something that you thought somebody was lying or being deceptive about something. The universe is offering something to you. It's, it's, it's going to be a, a blessing to you. Even though you're going to find this out, you're going to find this out. It's going to, to be a good thing, okay? So we're going to get the overall of what exactly, but obviously this person feels bad about it. Okay, so... How does your love interest feel about you? Your love interest feels that they want to flirt with you, that they want to have a long-term happiness with you, that they have strong desires for you to come together, to have a victory here. Okay. 
your love interest Scorpio feels sad there's something about an infringing party sister daughter um, friend and concerns about thoughts plans okay so and or they, they could find you they could realize that you're very attractive okay that you have a lot of options also and they have these thoughts that there's going to be something sad they're going to find out this person feels like they want a positive turn of events towards loyalty and devotion and they feel bad regretful i wonder if this is the same person scorpio okay they feel like there's this isolation, the separation, concerns about the main person, and gaining some kind of knowledge or something secret, book card energy. What the heck is going on with your reading today? All right. Abundance of happy energy. And we see hoping you're single and available to pursue, or they're feeling very lonely without you. Okay, that could be the case too. There's concerns about a breakup because of a party, a celebration, and something of an air of mystery. What the heck? Scorpio, what the heck is going on here? Okay, so the blockage is happiness, okay. There's something about this alone time meeting two to three people. And there we got the happiness card energy. And we see this news you get from something from before. And we see there's are my feelings real and worth exploring? Okay, so can I surrender to this happiness? Something happens from before. Okay, so there's a lot of concerns about long-term happiness. Can I really be happy? Okay. Success, happiness. Okay. Let's bring it all together. All right, judgment. Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Someone's coming in with an apology. Okay? They want to reconcile. They're going to apologize. They want this relationship. They see you as your... This could be the one you see as a soulmate. You're juggling this decision. The cat card's coming out. Party card. Friend card. Okay, wow. There you go again with the cat card. Expectations. Oh my god, another another one of these cards. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, look at that. There was a, there was a situation where somebody was lying. There was a situation where this person that you're dealing with has been lying. But now it's over. You're about to find out possibly because of this person here, which is going to make you juggle this decision. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Stuck energy. Bringing something together. Concerns about a breakup. Child card energy. Travel. Small travel. People socializing. Let's bring it together. Friends again coming out. Something changes around a marriage. Hmm. So they want to apologize about a situation when it came to this small lie deception about a friend and a two, three months expectation because of stuck energy. There's something about this relationship, the soulmate connection. They want to have a relationship. They want, there's something about travel and a party and lying. And there's a change around this to bring things together. So they may have been lying to you about travel or location here. Um, yeah, wow, you're going to be juggling a decision here about socializing. We see something about this friendship in a marriage ending in a breakup. So, wow, you'll be juggling this decision. So friends change the situation in marriage. Okay. Something between the lines here around this ex situation and being a player, concerns about being a player. Dealing with this unfinished business and a faded meeting here causes an argument or fight. There's this date that happens and we see legal decision involved and somebody who is doing something shady around it. Okay, so you're gonna find out some stuff about this, a breakup of their person, with their person, child, 
fresh start, new opportunity, we see movement, travel, change, and we see multiple people involved. There's something about this house and a main person and money and finance. There's a gift here which causes some kind of confusion we see and changes, changes and confusion. There's an offer being presented for a commitment, engagement, marriage, and a conversation. Okay, let's bring it together. All right, child and family, and we see giving to an opportunity. Okay. Travel to a main person and confusion about a long-term commitment or repeating patterns. There's people socializing, money, finance, emotions at play. There's going to be pregnancy, fertility, or change, positive change in this conversation. Okay. They want to apologize for the soul searching, a relationship that fulfills your desires, and something, some kind of communication that makes you juggle things. There's some indecisions coming in because of a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and an investment of time, Seven of Pentacles energy, to see how things play out. Could involve a feminine and a child, okay? There's a sense of confusions of loss. We see Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy and an offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. Lots of stuff going on here. Wow. Someone wasn't telling the truth about a party, a celebration, and this came from a friend. Does someone see you as a mean person? You're getting a lot of attention, very attractive. But there's something that was, somebody did something, was foolish here. You are, there's a message you're going to receive about an ending, which will be a sigh of relief. There's a person who's in despair and wants to help because of feeling bad. There's a surprise you're going to receive. We see a motherly energy and feeling stuck and stagnant. We see something about this house home situation and someone who's going to give some advice or counseling, which is hopeful, star card energy. Okay, uh, stuck energy, wanting to bring things together when it comes to a breakup. So someone's trying to have a breakup with someone. Okay, you're the right direction for me. I want to kiss and make up. I want to fix the situation. There's a criticism here because you're going to be shocked and surprised about something that happened that you didn't know about. Something about this travel situation which created a loss and something was sly and slick. Hmm. Two to three month expectation someone was lying about this ending. So the line ends. We see something about this house, home, this meeting, a small group of people, main person. There's a marriage here and work effort or something about work and receiving something of money. We see this far away distant energy and isolation separation and gaining a lot. There is this group of people and we see a friend who gives you something, gives you some kind of information, gives you an invitation. Yeah, we get, you get some kind of communication about this dispute, this argument, this fight, because of concerns about loss. So it's like you get, receive information. Um, okay, I just want to get a little bit more information. What is this? What, what, is, what is exactly what is Scorpio going to find out here? It's like there was lying deceptions and shady stuff going on that you're going to find out from another person. Okay. That's going to make you question something about making a decision, heavy decision. Okay, so what's Scorpio going to find out? Give me information about this, please. Show me cards you see. Show me cards you need. See. Something about a risk, a leap of faith. Something about the reason why they haven't talked, spoken, rejected. Something between the lines. Having to deal with some unfinished business that changed something here around a house, something to do with a house, something that was an air of mystery for you. You knew it in your intuition, 
that there was some kind of feelings, romantic feelings, but there were some issues around finances and uh, strong magnetic chemistry here and a, a commitment or relationship. There's someone who was trying to charm you. We see there was something about this breakup and a secret around the situation with you. What? And the timing is going to be right. And you're going to find out about this other person, this interference here with this new love. There's going to be this anxious energy and fear and worry about this unexpected situation because you're going to feel like, wow, why didn't you tell me that? And there's going to be a lot of overthinking about this because of the spiritual connection. Mm. Okay, uh, let me give you guys some advice. Wow. Okay. Um, can I have some advice for my Scorpios when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest best good for the best possible outcome? For February 26th to March 3rd, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, focus on your happiness, money, finance, stability. Get ready for this person to say hello again. Don't get distracted with your emotions here. Don't be over emotional about the situation. You have a lot of possibilities, Scorpio. Try to have fun. When this letter message document communication comes in, there is a lot of potential here. There may be some obstacles, uh, blockages to overcome, but timing will be right for you. Focus on love and hopeful of the energy when deciding to take this risk or leave of faith. Just be patient and let things play out. Seven of Pentacles energy. So I feel like a lot of you Scorpios knew that this person wasn't exactly being honest about their location or the travel or whatever. And now you're going to find out otherwise because it looks like someone's going to reveal that, you know, because it seems like the person didn't want to tell you because I, I feel like they didn't want to hurt you. But it's going to definitely make you question um, whether or not you want to continue on. So, yes, my beautiful Scorpios, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right. Uh, Always follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, Scorpio, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below, okay? I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. There's multiple reasons you guys to watch right now. I'm about to bring out the March reading. Don't worry. It's going to be for the full month of March. We're going to see what's going to happen with this situation. All right, my beautiful Scorpios. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.